Now, when, when you all opened 23 years now, what else was around here at that time? There was, there was, um, uh, there was a, a light manufacturing plant across the street here. This, this over here where you see the... the well, what, I mean restaurant-wise. No, no, restaurant-wise, there was nothing. The, Ginny's Diner, no, no, that, that's not oh fair. Oh my gosh, that was... Ginny's yeah. Diner was there, uh, Clifton Pizza was there. And Lynn's Paradise Cafe, Lynn Winter. Oh, that's right. That's Her where she staffed. Shop was that's down right. Here. Yeah. And then, about a year or two after we opened, uh, up the street you had uh, Porcini's, and then of course you had Dietrich's. Uh, oh, that's right. Dietrich's a couple years here. before yeah. that. So there wasn't really a whole lot it of wasn't, pickings. Wasn't. It, it was it was slim pickings. As as a friend of mine used to say, at eight o'clock they roll up the sidewalks on Franklin Avenue. <laughs> Because yeah, <laughs> yeah. there is nobody to walk on them, you know. But you know that changed. We came in here and um, we we put our own imprinter, we put our own name and our brand on it uh, as to what the vision of what we wanted it to be, uh, and uh, that's the way it has been. And you know, for the greater part, we have been successful with what we what we have done. But it's success means that you have a legacy, and the legacy is that you have taught people well, you've taught people consistently, and the people have moved on from you have moved on to, to greater success in the field. And that, that to me is, is, is the best part of my job. Is, uh, and Siobhan and I often remark on that the people have moved on from here. Jeremy Johnson and the, the folks that, that did Blind Pig, there's a lot of restaurateurs that have yeah. moved on from here. And, well, I mean, you're, you, like 23 years, that's right. a legacy right like, there. I right. mean, what do you attribute to your longevity? Uh, fear. Ah. Fear. Fear. Fear that Jesus Christ Almighty, if we don't have a good day like we had yesterday, we'll be out of business and we'll be bums. I'm great at begging, my wife not so much. <laughs> well, you've said to me many times that Siobhan is the doer. Yes, yes. And you are, I guess, Mr. PR. Yes, I, I like to. Uh, she's the doer. I wake up from naps. I'm very good at waking up from naps. <laughs> oh, what am I supposed to be doing? <laughs> no, the, here, you two are relentless yeah. and you work constantly. A yes. lot of people that have been in this business a long time, as long as you guys have. They like after five, six years, eh, they might come around, check right. the books or something. Right. That's right. about it. Well, if you if you treat people like that and treat business like that, you won't have any books to check. Yeah. Oh, well, well, <laughs> someone will have stolen books. the books. Sure. <laughs> they will have cooked it. Exactly. <laughs> They'll do all those things. But exactly. you know, getting back to again, you know, like you know, what is successful or somewhat successful, it's it is fear, fear that you will lose the love you have for the business and the love of people. It is basically a love of people. If you don't love people, do not get into this business. Exactly. Because you have to love to watch families come in here, sit down, enjoy their food, clean their plates. You know, it's the first rule of business in the restaurant business. If you bring out a full plate to a table or to a customer and you're bringing back two thirds of that, you've got a problem. And you better find out what the problem was. If you don't, you won't be in business very long because you're not doing something right. Thank <laughs> you.